This is GrahamFrom.ez coming to you with another security video. This one we're going to be talking about CAPTCHA. Now for those of you who have never used CAPTCHA before, you may have seen it on sites but may not be familiar with what it's actually called. CAPTCHA is whenever you see a little box that asks you to enter in something. It'll either be a math question, it'll be a bunch of characters that are all squiggly. Most of the time you may even see this as very hard to read and just be annoyed by it, so not to worry. What it is is it's there to help protect the site from what are called bots or spammers. Now these are generally either people who just sit there and hit a bunch of keys on their keyboard trying to fill up comments or trying to get access to your site in certain places just by just forcing their way in. So a brute force attack is what it's called. Now they do also use bots which are basically little programs that are running on their computer that just check website names just randomly literally going down a Google list or something else and they're just spamming sites trying to cause issues because they have nothing better to do, I assume. It could be lots of reasons, but we do want to make sure that they don't do this to your site. Number one, because it can actually crash your site. It is quite resource intensive, so it is definitely something that will crash your site. Plus, the last thing you want to do is go to update your site or have some comments you're looking for and find 50,000 spam comments on there. It does happen, it does seem like an excessive number, but we've definitely seen more than that in some sites. So it is definitely important to have a CAPTCHA there because it does protect a lot of your content. So we're going to be showing today how to set up a plugin which is going to protect your site from that. Now if you've already seen our other videos, we've shown you how to do a security scanner, show that as a plugin, we've also shown you bulletproof, as well as showing you where to get access to some good themed plugins, things like that from from wordpress.easy.com, which is a website we've set up to help you guys, as well as the actual wordpress.org, which is their official site as well. So these are all good things to do. You will find the CAPTCHA as an actual thing on wordpress.org. So it is here, they do have information. You can see a lot of people like it. So it is definitely a good thing, and we can see it is constantly updated. In case it was actually updated today. So that's always a good sign to make sure it's secure and working better for you. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to be going into the dashboard, which is normally where we make changes from. So in here, we're going to go to plugins so that we can install the new plugins. You can see from here that we've already got the bulletproof and the actual security set up and activated from before. So we're going to be going into add new. And this one here, we're going to be typing in capture. You can see auto populated for us. So we've got to search plugins. And we can see it's first on the list. So we're going to go to install now, click OK. And then we're going to activate the plugin. Now, the capture plugin that we've chosen is actually one of a group. It's called BWS Plugins. It's just a group of plugins that actually tell you, show you where you can download more of them. In this case here, we're only going to touch the capture one this time. You can definitely check out their other ones if you want. But what we want to do is we want to go into capture and we want to go into the settings. Now in the settings here, it's actually already enables everything by default to make it as complex as possible, so that's good. What this means is that on your actual login form, so where you log into the WordPress itself, so we've already shown you how to lock this out using one of the previous videos, the actual bulletproof one. If you haven't seen it already, you may want to check this out. This is another good way to pr protect the login page. Now the login form will also have a capture if you want, which a little above and beyond, but never hurts as well. The registration form is for those of you who use sites for new users. So if you add the ability to register, this is very important to help protect your site from any kind of bots or people signing in. So it is good to have as well. The reset password form is additional things. This is something you can do as more of a gimmick or something helpful for your users. So you can tell, hey, we help protect your site. We don't even allow reset passwords without a capture form to make sure that someone's actually resetting the password and nobody can go in and do it. So it is nice to have set up. You can also go into the comments forms as well. This is the important one because comment forms are typically available to the public because you don't always have registered users for them. It is very important because comment forms will very often get targeted by spammers and bots. And it's a good way they'll try and trash, like crash your site or add a whole bunch of garbage comments that you don't want to spend hours cleaning through in your database. So it can get ugly. It's definitely a good thing to do. And then hide capture from registered users is also a nice one. Because this is your way of showing to registered users that, hey, you've registered, you've set up, I've agreed that you're a legitimate person. You don't have to worry about these because we understand that sometimes it can be hard to read. So that way you can have the nice thing and you can even encourage people to register for your site by using that as well. So it is very powerful and nice to use. The contact form, it depends on whether or not using their contact form. 
it'll actually automatically add it to you. Most contact form plugins do have their own version of CAPTCHA that you can enable. So you can choose whether to use theirs or not or switch to another one. We do suggest to have CAPTCHA on any type of input just to avoid spammers. The title for CAPTCHA you can put in, this is something so you can say, oh, type here or please enter the address here. You can put in whatever kind of title you want. For the arithmetic caption, you can basically change it so that it has different math questions, how complex they are, because let's face it, we've all had those long days where we're just brain dead and sometimes our heads don't work. So you can try and make it simple if you want or you can make it complex. The numbers and words ones are, are definitely pretty good. You can try and mix and match it up, make it a little as complex as you want. And you can save the changes afterwards. So this will, again, add a little comment box here, which will ask a math question. And it will say, you have to answer this question if you want to add basically any comments or any kind of interaction with the site. So this is very important to help protect the site and make sure that spammers and bots do not attack it or try and crash your site. So on top of the other things we showed you of how to scan a site, as well as how to go through and do the bulletproof security to help protect it that way, as well as how to find some decent themes and plugins. These are all things that are important to make sure to check the site. Now, we, are, we do send out notifications from time to time, like our system administrators do. We definitely do ourselves. So we always try and let you guys know if there is any issues or ways we can think or if we've even detected that someone's like spamming your site or having issues, we'll definitely let you know and trying to resolve this. So we are going to be sending out more notifications in the future, of course, as we find more sites. So we are always trying to help you and make them more secure. So if you watch these videos, you'll know what to do already. If you've gotten an email and you're not sure how to follow along, these videos are really here for you. So make sure you do check them all out as they are going to be covering most of the steps you've seen in the emails or suggestions we've gotten. So you do want to make sure to follow us on Twitter, of course, as well as like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can see more videos and more notifications or anything else we're going to be sending out to you because it is nice to know what's going on. We are trying to help you, especially those of you using WordPress, keep everything secure, backed up, and ready for use and well used. If you have any other questions or comments or you have any trouble with any of these, you're more than welcome to contact our support. We'd be more than happy to help you out. This is Graham from Easy. Thank you for watching our video.